as we all know that in the beautiful language of uh, Swahili, Bhima means standing tall, right? And isn't that amazing um, recognition for me as a, as a woman leader to be getting this award on behalf of so many women I work with uh, and uh, so many women in leadership who are here to become the role model, to make a difference in the industries we serve, to be recognized as the woman leader means a lot. And I want to thank the organizers of uh, the Vima Award. I want to thank Aga Khan Development and Aga Khan Health Services for giving me this opportunity to grow to where I am, to my family to be with me always and support me. And last but not the least, my absolutely amazing team, because without team, there is no leader. So without their support, this award wouldn't have been possible. For me personally, this Vima Award means a lot. Recognizing, being recognized as a woman leader amongst a men-oriented profession of healthcare industry, where we have many more uh, male colleagues who are in the uh, leadership position of uh, chief executive officers. To be a woman chief executive officer as the regional CEO of Aga Khan Health Services in Kenya and Tanzania means a lot for me to be recognized as a leader who is standing tall for my own self as a professional, but for my colleagues, my women colleagues around me. As a woman leader, I believe that one has to continuously be a lifelong learner. I take pride in being uh, having a doctorate degree, which really has prepared me to be working in this healthcare administration field. But getting a degree in itself is nothing if I don't implement that knowledge in real life. Healthcare industry is very, very technical as well as very challenging. We are dealing with patients who are sick, their families who are sick. They come to us in the dire need. So we need to know how to manage them clinically. We need to know how to manage them with pa passion. And we also need to know how to manage them financially because healthcare puts burden in the, fam in the uh, patient's families and patient's uh, um, um, economical aspect. So as the CEO, what I try and do is to bring my knowledge into practice to serve my community, my clients, my patients better. I can't do that if I don't have the passion to do it, if I don't have the commitment to do it, if I am not doing it consistently and also have the perseverance to do that. Meaning I have to do that as a role model for my team every day. I am proud to be part of Aga Khan Development Network. Aga Khan Development Network, His Highness the Aga Khan and our Aga Khan Health Services uh, Executive Committee, which is chaired by Princess Zara Aga Khan, a strong woman leader for us, have always emphasized on gender equality. We talk about women and men playing the role together. And I think that is the vision of His Highness the Aga Khan, the guidance from Princess Zara Aga Khan, and from where I sit is to bring women professionals up to ensure that they are treated equally in the professional uh, uh, environment, such as us in Aga Khan Health Services. We deal with nurses, our majority of our uh, staffing are, is, is the nursing uh, profession. And as you all know, nurses are predominantly women 
uh, professions. And I am one, a trained nurse in by background. We have physicians, nurses, phys uh, female physicians. We have other administrative physicians in other uh, marketing, in, in uh, finance, in communications. We need to ensure that all these women uh, employees of Aga Khan Health Services are uh, equally treated with our male employees. This award today means a lot to me. It means a lot to Aga Khan Health Services East Africa. And I hope it means a lot to the women colleague, my female colleague sitting around me to take the pride that today we as women of Aga Khan Health Services are being recognized by Vima. I always believe that for a leader, especially a woman leader, competency is important. Know your job. You need to understand and know your job in detail. Go and learn. Get degrees if it means you need to learn the formal aspect of your job. And once you know your job, implement it on the ground. Be a role model for your other colleagues to see you implementing what is the right thing to do. Speak up. Be there to support your staff. Be a role model for your other female staff, women staff, as well as all other staff. Also, I talked about being persistent and working consistently. There is no substitute to hard work. There is no substitute to knowledgeable work. I started as a registered nurse. I got my degrees. I changed my thinking. I learned constantly in a learning mode. And that I think is important. As a female CEO, as a woman CEO, I think it is also important that we are assertive and speak up. We are not shying away to put our points forward when we feel that the right points need to be brought on the table we must do that. Our young girls need role modeling. I got role modeling with my women leaders in the past. And I think it is our ownership to be giving that role modeling to the upcoming young women professionals to see what it means to grow to that level. So I think knowledge, implementation of that knowledge consistent in your vision and your actions and being the role model in what you do is something which I would reinforce to other colleagues of mine. Absolutely, absolutely. This award is given to me recognizing my uh, contribution to healthcare. And now that this award is bringing out that a woman is in healthcare industry as the regional CEO leading this amazing, superb Aga Khan Health Service Organization. We are the top excellence, par excellence organization in healthcare standards, evidence-based standards, and a woman is leading it. So yes, I am very proud to receive this award and I think, uh, as I said earlier, I'm hoping that my colleagues are proud to also see uh, that a woman is recognized to be a leader here. One of my first role models is Princess Zara Aga Khan. I have seen her in various uh, uh, meetings and forums and it surprised me that how from the small aspects of looking at, are the nurses comfortable? Are your uh, staff comfortable working, Zenith? Looking at the details of the work to going mega into the vision, into the big picture, looking at uh, the, the millions and billions of dollars of, 
of budgets to um, uh, government, uh, governmental policies. So how this shift of going into details which are so necessary to going and looking at the bigger vis vision and bigger picture. This is an art, this is a science. And I have seen her doing that and I think uh, uh, that is a role model I look up to. I look up to the president of this Tanzania today. Look at her, what an amazing president leader she, has, she is. Her policies, her interest in, in bringing the, the, the ground policies which are going to the Venanches down there to looking at foreign policies, to the international policies and going between these seamlessly. So for me, I have a lot of respect for our president of Tanzania today. My last, but not the least, role model has been Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale has been a nursing leader from centuries back. And she talked about science centuries back. And that is something I feel is so important, knowledge. Acquire knowledge in your field. Implement that knowledge in your field. And I think that I have taken from Florence Nightingale. So these are my three role models today. What a great question. <laughs> you know, I always think about it. What legacy would I leave behind? You know, I think, I think, I always want to believe that my team looks at me as as a fair, as a visionary, as a team building leader. I want to work towards bringing the health system of the communities we work in and bring that up along with my team. I want to go and touch the lives of the patients, the communities we work with. But how can I do that? I can only do that if I think outside the box and have a bigger objective, a vision of doing it. And that's where the visionary leadership come. I can only do that if I am working with my team because I want to go to Mwanza, Dodoma, Kariako. I want to go out. How do I do that? With the team sitting around with me who have the same vision. I want to leave a legacy that Aga Khan Health Services is the quality institution where the community would like to come. It's not Zena, it's not a physician or a nurse, it's the Aga Khan Health Services. So I want my legacy, I want to leave behind that Aga Khan Health Services is now a world-class, evidence-based, practiced institution which is giving integrated health across the country. That's the legacy which I want to leave behind. Now, okay, the last question, but not least. Uh, you spoke about, we all know being in opposition is not easy. Mm. And you spoke about 30 years ago when you get married and stuff like that. So I really need to know, <laughs> how do you balance family, work and... You really you know, don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so so we, we, my husband, uh, no, let me start by thinking. You know, really where I am, my family plays a absolutely amazing amazing uh, 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 role starting from my in-laws when I got married in, my, in the culture I am from my in-laws with with us they lived with us and really their being with us was an advantage because they were taking care of my children when I was growing as a young professional coming up so that family uh, uh, extended family presence 
is is an abs was an absolute support to me when I needed at that time. My husband is a professional himself, right? So both of us have been working and growing together. He understands the challenges and the time requirement of me as a, as a woman leader, as a mom, as a student, and having having the family to take care of. And he's always been there as part as a partner, an equal partner. My kids, bless their hearts, they're amazing. They also understood and appreciated that there are times when mom will not be there for their PTA, right? Their parent teach, uh, the parents teacher uh, uh, assemblies or or, or uh, conferences because they know the mom is somewhere else. And but doesn't mean that they don't know that mom is always with them. So we, I think, family family plays a very important role in bringing uh, a woman leader to the level I am. I talked about mentors and role models. You have to look up to people. You have to look up to see where and how you want to get to them. And having a path doing that, I think that also helps. And that's, that's something which really keeps me always uh, going, uh, uh, how I groom myself, how I further improve myself. Last but not the le least, the team. If a woman leader doesn't have the right team, it doesn't work. A team which respects you as a woman leader, a team which you are contributing and they are contributing to your uh, 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 professional development. So I think I am very, very fortunate to have the bosses who are supportive, the team who are supported, and that's the, the teamwork which really is needed for you to grow as a woman leader.